Good afternoon, everybody. So uh, I am here in uh, Poland, uh, Chamaling, our retreat center. So uh, I'm very happy to do this uh, uh, spontaneous uh, Facebook Live. We just uh, finished our retreat this afternoon, so I have a little free time. So very happy to just uh, come back. Uh, it's been some time. So, so today's uh, the discussion topic is about a pain of expectation, and I think uh, we all know that very well. That uh, how we uh, expect things from oneself unreasonable expectations from oneself that really produces so much pain in our life and so much conflict in our life, uh, so much blame and uh, in our life and also so much uh, unrealistic expectations from others that really produces also so much conflict and pain, uh, pain with other people. So um, if you look at in your life and, and also if you look at other people's life, there is all this deep um, rooted pain, long time, deep and uh, unresolved uh, pain that we hold uh, with each other. Um, a parents, for example, uh, a father, a mother, that having a deep unhealed pain with their ch children uh, because of um, uh, feeling their their wish, their desire is not fulfilled, the expectation is not fulfilled by children or 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 the teacher expectation from the students uh, not fulfill their expectations or student expecting things from the teacher not fulfill their expectations. And uh, of course, obviously, expectations from oneself and others and so on. So I think there's a deep a sense of uh, issue about this expectation that I wanted to discuss a little bit. Uh, and I hope that we can all really uh, be conscious a little bit our unreasonable expectation from oneself and from others. Um, so, so basically... I want everybody to look a little bit closely what are the main uh, challenges that you are facing in your life, in this moment in your life. Uh, either it is related very much with your work or it is related very much with your relationship with your families or it is related with very much with yourself. Um, and so look at those challenges and uh, closely and trying to look at how these challenges has something to do with expectations. So just I want everybody to uh, focus for a moment uh, in yourself. Your challenge in particular situation or your challenge with particular person Your challenge with particular organization, particular job place, particular person in the organization, in the job, or with your father, mother, brother, sister, partner. Challenge that you are facing pain that you are feeling and particularly the pain that has been there for a long time it's a, a family karmic thing wherever there is a strong sense of bond and love there is this pain and expectations because we care about each other we wanted to do do good and uh, and expect well from the other person. We want other person to be well, therefore we build these expectations. This is very much about self-reflection. It's not about, um, about I'm trying to teach or tell something 
as I am talking to you, I am also re uh, reflecting that in myself. We are helping he here each other to, to reflect individually or collectively and supporting each other to do that. So just begin to reflect closely, obviously as always, before we reflect deep into these issues, it is always fine, it's always important to find that place of stillness in oneself, where there is a lot of space through which you can look, in which you can accommodate, or in which you can process things better. It is always beautiful to be in that place of silence within oneself, where you are not going crazy, not judging, but feeling sense of peace in the silence, able to hear better, sense better, reflect better. It's always wonderful to stay heart open, be spacious, from this place of openness and awareness, look at the person, a father who feel deep conflict or pain for a long time toward the children or children toward the parents, brother toward sister, sister toward brothers, toward friend, partner. And maybe in some cases you have stopped talking, stopped relationship, unfriend somebody but never manage to be free from those thoughts, memories, and pain. It's still fresh as ever before in you. There is no way to avoid it or when it's not clear within. By returning photos, objects, belonging, unfriending in the Facebook, getting rid of numbers, messages, does not change much. They need to be cleared in the deep place in our mind. In the deep sacred place, the pain needed to be clear, the karma needed to be clear in order to be free from them. So reflect on those situations. You are expecting somebody to do like you, what you would do. You are expecting somebody to be like how you would be. You are expecting somebody to handle things the way you would handle. You are expecting somebody to become like what you would like to become or how you are. Or maybe you are expecting somebody to become who you could never be, you felt to be, you wish to be, and you want some close person, your child, friend, your colleague, your employee to be that unfulfilled aspect of yourself.
maybe you are in the position to demand, ask that from the person, this person, and this person is trying to do best, suffering, feeling pain, still trying to do best to become like what you want, to do, you want this person to become. This is a torture. This is a torture towards somebody. This is also a kind of torture to yourself. It is a pain. Trying to make somebody who they are not. It's a hard work. It's a conflict. It's a draining. Trying to make somebody who they are not. It's also very sad trying to make somebody what you fail to be. Just reflect deep. Look at that person. Feel openness from your heart to this person. Trying to see this person closely. With the eye of compassion, kindness, This person is suffering. You do not want it to continue like this. There is a pain in this relationship. The potentiality is blocked in this relationship. The highest aspect of yourself and the highest aspect of the other person is obscured in this relationship. But what both could have, it's not there, it's obscured all those potentiality because of this expectation, which is a pain. But this is what is. This is the situation. One does not have to judge oneself, criticize oneself, punish oneself, because of this situation, one just simply have to recognize and shift the energy to open, to connect, to care, to transcend and to transform. And you can do it. If you see it clearly, you can do it. Feel that. Feel that openness. Feel that care, love, compassion, kindness toward that person. In some, some cases, as I said, I know some situation where in a children and parents relationship and in a siblings relationship, <clears throat> deep wounds, pains, unhealed for years and a good chance it will never heal. But there is a chance, there is a possibility to heal and to be free from that. When you know your, your pain relationship with somebody has so much to do with, you, with your expectation of the other person. And particularly, you know, like in the Dharma, in the teaching, uh, Probably somebody, some, sometimes people think that, oh, I'm always talking about sometimes a sense of like a very mundane thing, very, uh, how you say, relationship and pain and everything. But this is, this is our life. This is true. We can talk about philosophy. We can talk about 
all the wonderful teachings that the, all the Buddha and Bodhisattvas and Masters taught, inspirational. Of course, we, we, we can do and we do. But at some point, all those messages have to come down to a real life in a real person situation and ship that situation. If not, then those teaching does not serve the way it should serve us in our life. And I'm talking this is exactly this is the what Buddha taught. This is what all the masters taught. This is what they want our they want our transform our suffering. And and expectation is one of the core core sources of that. So just continuously reflect deep, feel open, feel the connection, and realize these years of expectation toward the other person. And the expectation is coming very much from you this is what in the teaching says, coming from pain identity, like a dangzi, the ego, the self-grasping, self-identity. The self-identity which has not fulfilled with your own wish or with your own desire and you're expecting that somebody to fulfill. Very unreasonable expectations from somebody. When especially when somebody does not have those quality or not meant to be, they aren't meant to be you, they're meant to be themselves. So you have created a lot of suffering and pain in somebody's life by doing that. Recognize, be open, let it go, let somebody be free. That will help you free yourself or let feel that sense of freedom within you and it will help let somebody be free. So, just to conclude our conversation, I think in, in our life, we all, always, we're trying to, we expect somebody to be like you, or think like you, look like you, do like you, and uh, if then when somebody does not do, then we create conflict, we free create pain. Even nowadays, even a sense of like a, a racist. Somebody expect you to be, look their skin color like you. You, you don't have a choice of skin color, it's just some sense of comes from the birth. But somebody expect it has to be white. That's unreasonable expectation. And they suffer because we are not white or someone is not white. That suffering, it seems like real, there is no realistic places there. And creating a conflict and pain in others because of skin color, because of race, gender, religion, they wanted to be everybody like them. 
That's expectation. That's the pain, a collective society's pain. Today in the world, you feel that. Unfortunately, you feel that sense very strong. But let's go more closer to our own individual lives. Just look at your relationship with others. Your relationship with others. Just think, think about that you don't want somebody to be like you, think like you, do like you. You want somebody, if you care about somebody, if you love somebody, if you respect somebody, you wanted to find who they are. You wanted to help them to become who truly they are. Our parents wanted to look closely to the child and see the potentiality of the child and let them become who they are rather than making them somebody what you have felt or something you wished. We do that. Recognize, be free from that. Others do not need to become you, they need to become themselves. And the same thing, the self-expectation from ourselves. We compare ourselves, I want to do uh, sing like that person, I, want, I like to perform like that person, I would like to make money like that person. I would like to do this like that person. You compare yourself with others. You don't have to compare yourself with others. You don't have to become like others. You have to become the best who you are, the best of yourself, the highest, your higher self. And whatever that is meant that, that meant to be, it will manifest. When you connect with yourself, it will manifest. You need to be yourself. Then you will discover your potentiality. Then you will discover all, uh, all the possibility, your best side, your productive side, your creative side. In the same way, you help somebody else to discover theirs. They don't have to become you, you don't have to become them. They don't have to do like you, you don't have to do like them. They don't have to look like you, or you don't have to look like them. That's expectation. But there is a place for openness in this world. There is a place for compassion in this world. There is a need to connect to each other in this world. That is only that can only happen when somebody is respecting others to be who they are or to or really genuinely curious about be who you are and allow others to be who they are. So I think for today, I think maybe uh, that's all. So I hope um, just really like a, maybe a conclusion prayer uh, that we can all do in our heart is please give me the strength, clarity, so that I do not expect from others to do like me but able to help to to them to do their uh, to recognize themselves or to let uh, able to help them uh, to become themselves uh, able to contribute in that self realization for others and give me the strength in myself also that I do not expect and punish myself all the time compare myself all the time with others to recognize my true self and discover my a full potentiality to benefit others 
Give me the strength and clarity. Let's pray together. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so I think that's how we're going to end today. And uh, I, um, last few days, I have posted uh, quite a few um, Akar Sale Mantra, Sale Vyo Mantra. Uh, Akar Sale Vyo Ayam Omdu, Omdu, beautiful mantra. It's a mantra, one of the three great mantras of Buddhist tradition, and it's uh, related with the Dharmakaya unbounded space, unbounded awareness of the space, that space, that openness, it seems like what we need. So uh, every place that I've been going, we've been singing all the time, enjoying it very much. I could not resist myself not sharing that within my Facebook. So I hope those you are keeping closely with me, and I hope that you are singing, you are praying, and sometimes it is beautiful and really, really helpful, particularly when we when we don't know what to do. We, life, we face challenges. When we don't know what to do, I am telling, when you don't know what to do, don't try to do anything. Just rest and be still and sing this powerful mantra on, or listen to these powerful mantras. When you don't know what to say, don't say, remain in silence, feel the silence, enjoy silence, connect and listen or sing these mantras. When you don't know what to think, don't think, don't try to put too much effort, rest and sing or listen to these prayers and trust these prayers and they will help you to clear because Basically, if you look the lines of mantra, I have asked Polly to share the, the meaning of the mantras. These mantra will basically uh, help you cl feel clear, feel open, feel aware, feel doubtless, feel confidence, feel kind, and feel one with everything and everyone. So trust this mantra. They will help you when you don't know what to do and when you don't know where to seek help. So... Enjoy the mantra and we will continuously, I will be continuously sharing and singing. So uh, I hope you're enjoying. Thank you so much.